I have grown up in the rural farming community of Colton my entire life. In our community, the last decade of athletics has known little other than success, accumulating 20 state championships since 2009. But in my little town, it's not winning that makes our school unique. It is our ability as individuals, as a team, and above all, as a school to support each other no matter the circumstances. In sports, there's a score that indicates whether your team was successful. However, just like in life, that score often does not paint the whole picture. Each school has a unique story, and what makes sports so special is that we have the ability to leave our own marks on these programs that have played a role in shaping who we are. I am incredibly grateful to be a part of the legacy of Colton Girls Basketball. Programs like these are like storybook. Chapter 1 began in 2007. That team placed third, making history in Colton for being the first girls basketball team to make it to state. They didn't bring home the title. Instead, they laid the foundation out for the next generation of Wildcats. The following year, they placed second. The day we finally won state in 2009 was the beginning of Chapter 2 in the Colton Basketball Storybook. It lit the fire that fueled the drive behind Colton Basketball. It motivated us to go as hard as we could in practice, play 40 summer games, and work with younger girls in our community so they would be prepared to step into the program when their time came. We are 100% committed to achieving the goal to take home the gold ball. Until this year, we reaped the benefits of our hard work, winning eight consecutive state championships. As a team, we had to face a true test of character when that streak was broken. I can proudly say that while we could have let this loss tear us down, we didn't. Score at the end of the game did not represent the hard work that we had put in all season, nor did it take away all that we had accomplished. We came back from the loss and proved it to ourselves that we were the best team in the state. We didn't need a gold ball to prove it. This game marked the beginning of our new chapter. It is now up to us how this section will go. I know that I will step up to lead our team and together we will maintain our dedication in order to do whatever it takes to make this chapter as great as the first. This loss showed me exactly who I am. I am someone who is willing to work as hard as possible 100% of the time, no matter the circumstances, and someone who knows how to rebound from adversity with success. Losing isn't something that I have had to experience often growing up with other successful athletes, and my ability to excel after failing assured me that I can bounce back from any obstacle I might face. Losing that one game may have been my life's biggest challenge, but it was also my proudest moment because the next game reminded me of what it was like to play for our town with no added pressure. And most importantly, it showed me that I didn't need to win for the community and school to be proud of me. I just needed to try my absolute best. Thanks to my experiences on the hardwood, I truly understand that the strongest qualities I possess enable me to maybe not win at everything, but allow me to be successful at anything I do. Sports have acted as a gateway to leadership for me and have taught me how important it is as a leader of any team to rebound from a setback. In my leadership outside of sports, I have held the office of class president in the past two years, have participated as part of the Honor Flight Committee, held the office of chapter secretary at FFA as a sophomore, and was elected vice president for the upcoming year, and am a member of National Honor Society. I also am a part of a successful softball team that has won state eight of the last ten years. In volleyball, I've changed from a player who's relied upon to perform to a player who's relied upon to lead and educate our young team. Hi, I'm Jordan Murley from Colton, Washington. I'm a three-sport athlete participating in varsity basketball, volleyball, and softball, and I would like to be a member of the WIA LEAP Committee because I've experienced adversity firsthand, know how to overcome it, understand how to work hard, and am aware of how to lead a team on the court, field, and in the classroom.